Hey guys, Mario Dottillo here with Real Cash Flow. I'm very excited to be a part of the Legacy Wealth Academy. We're going to be talking about mobile home park investing and how you can create crazy cash flow with this awesome asset class. So the question is, why the heck would we buy mobile home parks after all? Well, what's great is that you can invest in different types of real estate and get awesome returns, but there's some unique factors about mobile home parks that you won't find in any other property type. Reason number one is mobile home parks have an abnormally low expense ratio compared to other property types. The typical expense ratio on a mobile home park is between 40 and 45%. And what that really means is that there are more dollars coming in from revenue and going to the bottom line than most other property types. What that also means is that every dollar that comes in, more of that dollar actually goes towards the value of the property and increases your equity. For example, every dollar that you add to the bottom line, your net operating income at an 8% cap rate gives you $12.50 of value to that property. So the lower expense ratio gives you more bang for the buck. Reason number two, mobile home parks have much lower turnover because our residents actually own their homes. And what that means is that Tenants don't move out every six months, year, year and a half like you see in other property types. That also means that we have much lower turnover costs because typically when an owner moves out, they've already sold the home to a new buyer and all we have to do is approve them. We're not having all the make ready costs that you have in other property types whenever a tenant moves out because the ownership of that home just transitions to the new buyer. We act almost like a homeowners association in the sense that we just approve them and then they move in and our rent never stops. This also allows us to keep our payroll costs low because we don't need maintenance staff running around the property and turning over units all the time. Another great thing is that anytime a tenant defaults and we evict, we actually get the home back and we're able to renovate that home and sell it and potentially make a profit and make up all the costs that were involved in that eviction. Reason number three to invest in mobile home parks. There's an increasing amount of demand for affordable housing, but there's actually a decreasing supply of mobile home parks right now. There are so many more mobile home parks actually being redeveloped into other things. Well, affordable housing demand is at a peak right now. What's interesting is to develop these properties, it doesn't make a whole lot of financial sense. And so most people are not interested in developing new ones. It creates a real moat around this property type and a barrier to entry. Reason number four is we're the lowest cost provider of non-subsidized housing. Now our rent is typically about half the cost of a one bedroom apartment. And as housing costs go up, residents can't afford more expensive housing options. So they downgrade and they go into things like mobile home parks, which gives them very affordable home ownership. These properties historically perform better in recessions than most other property types and make a great hedge against inflation. Reason number five, you've got economies of scale and tenant diversification. You can manage a lot of units in one location, giving you diversification and scale. What I mean by that is you can have one manager manage 100 or 150 units or lots at one location versus having scattered site properties where you've got to have a lot of different managers. Having economies of scale at one property often allows you to negotiate bulk agreements, bulk contracts, which are going to save you money in the long run. Traveling to these properties and seeing you know, 50 or 100 units can be really easy because you fly in, you go see the property, and within a couple hours you've seen all these units. If you have scattered site properties, it can take days to go see all the units that you own. Reason number six is the mobile home park industry is very inefficient and unsophisticated. The industry is actually going through a consolidation and you've seen this in other property types. I'll use self storage as an example. Over many years, you've seen individual owners sell off to institutional investors and now the self storage industry is very efficient and very professional. We're seeing that happen right now in the mobile home park space. And the interesting thing about this is that every industry only consolidates once. So it's really a very tight window of opportunity to take advantage of. Because the industry is very inefficient, there's not a lot of good data. If you think about it, if you want to research apartment rents, it's very easy. You can pull up on many websites what the rent is in a specific geographic area. Mobile home parks, you can't. You've got to actually manually call every mobile home park right off of Google and ask them what they're charging for rent because there's no data out there. 
The sellers aren't using industry best practices and so they're not pushing the cash flow and therefore the value of these properties. So they're leaving a lot of upside for investors like you and I to come in and implement these best practices and maximize the value of the property. Since there's so many inefficiencies with this property type, we can go in, we can make them very efficient, maximize the value, and then sell them off later on to institutional investors who will pay a much lower cap rate for a stabilized asset. Reason number seven is there's very favorable financing terms and lender appetite right now. Lenders have gotten very interested in this property type because they recognize that the default rates are very low and they're very stable, easy properties to manage compared to other high maintenance, high operationally intense properties. Lenders are offering very similar terms to what they offer in multifamily properties, and this gives investors the opportunity to get attractive financing terms and get very good returns on these properties. There's still a misconception that there aren't good lending options in the mobile home park space, which has actually turned off investors or scared them away from getting into it, which is great for you and I. All these reasons and more are why I've been aggressively out buying mobile home parks for over nine years now. Look, everything that I'm gonna teach you today about mobile home park investing, I've learned the hard way. I've been investing in mobile home parks for over nine years, real estate investing for over 15. I've acquired over 20 commercial assets at this point and over a thousand mobile home lots. I've made every mistake in the book and so I'm gonna teach you how to not make those same mistakes that I made. Most importantly, I've been able to go out and help other investors get started and buy their first mobile home parks through my real cash flow course and coaching program. All right, so let's jump into this. I'm gonna teach you the six steps that you need to follow in order to buy a profitable mobile home park. We'll go through the key components of finding, analyzing, doing due diligence, and closing these deals. This is where it gets exciting. You could just buy one deal and that would change your lifestyle completely. I'm gonna give you an example. Let's say you bought a 50 space community and the lot rents in that community are only $300 a month. Let's say that you had a 50% expense ratio. That would leave you with $99,000 for the NOI. Even if you only kept half of that after your mortgage, think about how much $50,000 a year would change your lifestyle right now. It doesn't take a lot of deals to build up real wealth and cash flow with these. All right, let's jump into how to actually find and source these deals. 